Costco US have been selling the Philips Healing 9040 hearing aid since the beginning of 2023. But there isn't just one of them, is there? You're right, there are four in total, all with very subtle differences. So my job today is to make sure that you don't end up ordering the wrong one, as you could be missing out on some incredible features. So in this video, I'm going to reveal what those differences are, which styles are suitable for you and your hearing, plus what they cost and what you get for spending your hard earned dollars. So as we start, I want to learn a little bit more about you watching this video today. Where are you at in your hearing aid journey? Are you sat there today watching this video already wearing hearing aids or are you doing research before buying them for the first time? Let me know in the comments because it will help me to know how much detail to go on in these videos going forwards. Now, you may be surprised to learn that the Philips Healy 9040 hearing aids available in the US's Costco stores are just a small selection from the dozen plus styles that are actually available from Philips. So, if you're after any of the Philips hearing aids that I don't discuss today, i.e. any of their custom hearing aids such as the Invisible In Canal, Completely In Canal, or In The Canal style, or the Mini Right, or their power behind the ear hearing aid, then you'll have to look for another independent provider. However, if you're interested in one of these four styles, then as long as you're happy to head over to one of the Costco warehouses, then you're in luck. Starting from the left here, you'll see the Hearlink Mini Right TR, which is the receiving canal rechargeable version with a built in telecoil. The Mini Right T, which uses a 312 disposable battery that needs changing roughly once every five to 10 days. The Mini BTE TR, which is Philips rechargeable BTE. And then the Mini BTE T which again uses a size 312 battery with a built-in telecoil. One thing that I am a fan of is that all four models available at Costco have a built-in telecoil. Philips, however, do have a smaller receiver and canal model called the Mini Right, which Philips dubbed their stylish model, which doesn't have a built-in telecoil and nor is it available at Costco. If you're not actually familiar with a telecoil, then I'd recommend checking out this video covering the advantages of having it built into your hearing aids which even includes sound files and gives you a real flavor of the benefit that you can expect. When activated, the telecoil allows you to easily connect wirelessly to a microphone set at a distance, i.e. in a public venue, such as a lecture or at the theater or cinema. And then you should be able to hear the person speaking into that microphone just as if you were stood next to them. It's likely that you'll have seen this sign at various public venues, letting you know to activate the T setting on your hearing aids. And like I say, it can significantly improve your quality of life in those kinds of environments. These two hearing aids discussed today are rechargeable, and then these two use disposable batteries. I would say that in clinic, I fit around 90% of my patients with rechargeable batteries nowadays. They're way more convenient, you don't have the battery dying halfway through the day, and you're also not throwing away old batteries, which seems like a terrible waste if you can avoid doing so as they'll only last for around five to seven days. With both the Mini Right TR and the Mini BTE TR, a three to three and a half hour charge will give you a full day of battery life. With clever circuitry in place, meaning that the hearing aids can be left on charge overnight and it shouldn't cause the batteries any damage. Now the only downside of lithium ion batteries, which incidentally is the same battery technology that's in your mobile phone or laptop, is that over time they become less effective and may well not last you a full day. If this is the case, the Philips programming software will measure the battery health anytime your hearing aids are connected to the computer. It will tell you when it's poor, and then you can organize the batteries to be changed accordingly. Now, not all hearing aids are suitable for all types of hearing loss. So it's worth checking out the individual fitting ranges for the different styles of these hearing aids. These images show the fitting ranges for the receiver and canal hearing aids. So if your hearing loss falls within the shaded area, then they're technically suitable for you. With the receivers being interchangeable between either a 60, 85, 100 or 105 dB power level. This is something that your hearing aid dispenser should choose for you depending on your hearing test results. The behind the ear models, however, are a little bit different and have a set fitting range, which is shown here. So technically, whether you have a mild, moderate, severe, or profound hearing loss, these hearing aids can be ordered to suit your level of hearing. It's also worth noting that the receiver and canal models can be coupled to your ears using a selection of generic rubber tips or with a custom ear mold. As far as I'm aware, for an additional cost, a custom ear mold can be made at Costco, 
which involves your hearing care provider taking an impression of your ear and will normally take around two weeks from start to finish to make. It's really your hearing loss that determines whether a rubber tip or a custom mold is the most appropriate for you, based on not only your anatomy and your hearing test results, but also the challenges that you face on a daily basis. And it's incredibly important to get this right, as the sound of a hearing aid can be completely transformed by changing this element of the hearing aid. For example, it can affect both the clarity and sharpness that a hearing aid can provide, how full of rich it sounds, how good it sounds when you're streaming from your phone, and most importantly, how well it works in background noise. Now, you may already be aware that Philips hearing aids are manufactured by hearing tech giant DeMott, who are one of the top global hearing aid manufacturers better known for brands such as Oticon, Bernafon, and Sonic. As such, the 9040s are built on the same technology platform as DeMott's latest hearing devices and have incorporated DeMont's industry-leading speech-enhancing AI technology. Now, I think it's incredibly important that you know that, other than the rechargeability and the telecoil, all of the tech that's loaded into these hearing aids, such as the Bluetooth streaming, Healing 2 app, artificial intelligence, sound protect, and speech clarifier features, and the likes of the hi-fi music and accessory compatibility are exactly the same between styles. Now, of course, it's impossible for me to recommend a hearing aid for everybody watching this video, as I don't know your individual hearing test results. However, out of the four available, I think that the most popular will be the Hearlink MiniRite TR, as it's loaded with the most features and it's the most versatile in terms of matching various configurations of hearing loss. If you're interested in a more detailed and thorough breakdown of exactly what the different features are that are built into these hearing aids, then you have to check out this comprehensive feature review of the Philips Hearlink 9040s. 